So many iPods in the world, and so many folks who want to connect them to their car stereo. But of all the ways you can do that, perhaps the least understood is the FM modulator. Different from the FM transmitter, primarily in that FM modulators work well. First of all, this is an FM transmitter for our baseline. You plug this into your iPod, you plug the other end into a cigarette lighter, and it transmits the music over the air on an FM frequency over here to your antenna. No wires, just out in the air competing with local radio stations. That's part of the problem. As you drive around, you're going to get different interference as station strengths differ, and you're competing with all those stations all the time, so there's lots of noise and hiss. These tend to be pretty unsatisfying. The FM modulator looks like one of these two units here, a little box you install hidden somewhere in your dashboard that connects to your car stereo. Here's a basic FM modulator. This one's an AudioVox FM M100A. These are used all the time by car audio installers, and it shows the basic principle. First of all, here you've got an antenna input jack, and into that you insert the wire or the lead that's coming from your car's antenna out on the fender. On the other end of the modulator is an antenna lead, and that goes into your car radio. See what's happening here? I'm inserting the modulator in line between the antenna and the car stereo. You connect power and ground, of course, to get this thing activated, and then you tune your FM radio to one of the frequencies you've selected that this modulator can operate on. So let's say you have 89.1 chosen, tune your radio to that, and then just plug in the cable that feeds the modulator, in this case into your headphone jack, because this device, being pretty basic, uses a generic auxiliary line feed. Now the music that's coming out of that headphone jack is being broadcast on a closed circuit into your antenna jack. No interference. But here's a more sophisticated way to do it, especially if you have a genuine iPod. This Alpine's called the DPR-RDS-1, and what it has on one end of it is an actual iPod connector. You connect that to your iPod or iPhone, make the other hookups like we showed you. Power, antenna, in and out. And then select a frequency right here, and tune your radio to it. That's all the same so far, but the difference is this modulator will not only play the music over the FM frequency you've selected on it, but it'll also charge your iPod while it's connected and the car's turned on, and it'll send some track information to the display of your radio via RDS. RDS is that technology that a lot of radio stations use to put up their name or the name of what song they're playing. But that gives you kind of a poor man's solution to a dedicated, customized, iPod-friendly car stereo. Pretty neat. Now, the pricing. This AudioVox, a basic unit like this, is about 40 or 50 bucks. If you want the more advanced features that are iPod-specific, like in this Alpine, this class of products is closer to 100. But either way, FM modulators are a very slick way of integrating your MP3 player or your iPod specifically into any car with an FM radio with good sound, not the kind of iffy results you get with these FM transmitters.